Soviet Union, so we're going back to the Olympic arena for uh, the last hockey game you'll see in this Olympic hockey tournament. A great call, play-by-play, -play the first round there. Uh, Ron, it's been a t heavy day for you, but here we go. Ron Roosh and Tom Watt. All right, thanks very much, Lloyd. The teams are on the ice. This one's pretty clear-cut. If the Soviets win the game, they get the silver medal. It'll be Sweden with the bronze. The reverse will hold if the Swedes win this one. There are our officials, Bernie Haley of Canada, is on the ice, Andre Kapulka of Poland, and Stefan Enciu of Romania. They are the officials for the game. Now, if these two teams tie, the Soviets would get the silver medal. Now, we've said a number of times that the Soviets have not played that well in this tournament. It's not one of their vintage years, and it is quite possible that the Swedish team could, in fact, win the hockey game. They played a great game against the United States. The United States had to come back with a last-minute goal by Bill Baker in order to tie Sweden. So here we go. Well, the Soviets, too, I think a big question. They're starting Mishkin in goal. Trechak not in the goal after starting poorly against the United States. And I think what you have to look for from the Soviets today, after losing that game to the United States, are they going to be down? You know, are they really going to try to win a silver medal, or is the only thing that matters to them gold? We'll see later on in the hockey game. There's Pelle Lindbergh. Bernie just talked about him. He's from the Hammerby Club in Sweden. Just a 20-year-old, 5'8", 155 pounds. There's Tretjak on the bench. And when was the last time Vladislav Tretjak did not start a game? Well, we can remember. Back to the Challenge Cup last year in the third and deciding game when Mushkin started. Over the line, a two-on-one. Arlamov getting set. It rolls to the goal mouth, and down goes Lindbergh. Right off the face-off at center ice, a quick two-on-one, and not a very good shot by Harlamov. Lindbergh was able to cover up. Lindbergh, they tell me, and uh, you were there, Tom, played very, very well in the Asbestia tournament this year. Excellent. From the face-off. Alberg picked up the puck, but uh, he they had an encroachment in the face-off circle, so they'll do it again. Very well at Rude Pravi shut out Canada's national team two to nothing in Prague earlier this year. From the face-off, there's a hard shot from the blue line taken by Kazatinov. Now another shot. They're just winding up and firing. That was Pitisov that let that one go behind the net. Now it's cleared out in front by Mihailov and ends up out at center ice and Petisov is back to get it. Four checking is Allberg. It's cleared out to center ice. Harlamov coming back into his own end. Right on top of him is Holmgren at center ice. Harlamov over the line now. Harlamov stick handling and he fired that over top of the net. It rolls out in front. They score right off the top. It is Petrov who put it into the net in the goal mouth area and the Soviets have just really got the Swedes just flat-footed here. Harlamov making a good move, goes down, fakes the shot the first time over the net, but it bounces loose. Harlamov stays with it, tips it in front. Petrov just cruising in front of the net, puts it behind Lindbergh for the Soviets to go ahead one to nothing. Face off on the far side, now it's taken by Erickson, but he can't control it. Now Waltin shooting it out to center ice. And back in his own zone for the Soviets, that's Vasiliev. Vasiliev over for Starikov. Out at center ice and down over the line. Balderas. Balderas out in front. A quick shot and a good blast there by Shluftov. Behind the net, it goes into the corner. Digging in after it there, sports off. Here's the shot and another hard shot. And the puck rolls loose out in front of the net. The Soviets have got the pressure on again. Shluftov in the corner. Big Shluftov, 6-3. Rolls it out in front of Balderas. Band on it. Vasiliev at the blue line. Try to clear it in front. It goes to the far boards and Norberg has it. Norberg clearing it down into the Soviet end. Behind the net for the Soviets, it's Vasiliev, and it's called for a face-off back in the Swedish end of the ice on the icing. Petrov from Harlamov at 36 seconds, and the Soviets lead the silver medal game one to nothing. The veteran Petrov on the Soviet bench, perhaps his last Olympic tournament, perhaps even his last game with the national team, because in talking to people around the tournament, they think that this line, this experienced line, Petrov, Harlamov, and Mikhailov, this may be their last hurrah. From the face-off now taken, out at center ice, cleared ahead, over the blue line, Anderson turning with it, shooting it out to center ice, and here come the Swedes now, down over the line comes Moline, Moline tried to split the defense, and he was unable to, and the Soviets come roaring right back, down over the line, Makarov, and his shot is blocked at the defense, but rolls behind the net. Bared in against the boards, they're taken by Erickson, Erickson tried to hit the line, Alexander Golikov's in there, but it's offside, 
Face off outside the Swedish end. We played a minute 52 here in the hockey game. One nothing for the Soviets. There you see Lindbergh. There, there's the goal. Getting behind Lindbergh. Not much chance on that one. There's a shot by Harlamov. It bounces back. Harlamov partially fanned on it, but he got it over for Petrov and into the net. And they'll redo that face off. As you see Petrov on the bench. Petrov, a member of the Central Red Army. He's been with the national team since 1968. He's got eight world championship gold medals and two Olympic golds, and he's going for a silver in this one. Doesn't know much about losing hockey games, that's for sure. Buck is in the corner now. In there after it, and picking it up is Lebedev. He clears it around the far side. Now it's the center ice off Lebedev's stick, and Prudov was unable to get it. Now against the Bards, Alberg cleared out at center ice from Maltsev. And over the line, four checking on the play is Krutov. He's a great young hockey player, Krutov. He's four checking again. Carrying the puck is Naslin. Over to this side, taken by Weinstock. Weinstock, Jonsson at center ice. Two line pass called on that offside pass. And we'll have another faceoff as we say Alberg. He was second in the Swedish scoring race last year. That's the Swedish elite league as they call it. To Anders Kaller, who is now playing with the New York Islanders. He missed the scoring championship by just two points. They play a 36 game schedule there. He had 45 points including 28 goals. Alberg number 12 for the Swedes. The puck is cleared out over center ice down into the Soviet zone. Drop pass, and out at center ice, hit the heel of the skate of Balderas. Baltin down in his own end at center ice, now cleared right onto the stick. Good move there by Starikov, is reacting to that very, very well. Now Harlamov, Harlamov to the line, and trailing is Mihailov. He's in with that puck, gets it, the quick shot of his. And it was right on, and Lindbergh made the save. Here's Harlamov digging for it on the far boards. This line's really buzzing around here. Here's Harlamov. Harlamov into the slot, gets it, he shoots. Oh, what a save there by Lindbergh. A bouncing puck in front of the net. Now it's Erickson. Erickson to the far boards, then the return pass goes right by him, and it's center ice in Starikov. To Mihailov to Petrov, to Mihailov down behind the net. Now Lindbergh out of the net, flips it along the glass. On the far side, trying to keep it in his facility up. It comes out to center ice. There's a good pass over the line now. Here's Moline getting set, passed it over to the side of the net, out in front. That one intended there. And the puck is shot wide of the net. It bounces behind the net. Now out in front again. A shot right through the goal crease. On the far boards, Mihailov chops it into the corner. Vasiliev. Ahead for Petrov, over on this side for Starikov. Starikov leaving it for Vasiliev along the boards and down into the Swedish zone. In after it, Balderas, he's muscled in against the boards. Balderas with the puck again. And Erickson got to move in there now and try and hold it. Pin it in there as they poke away at it. It's called for a faceoff to the right of the Swedish goal. As you said, Ron, it's been the veteran line of the Soviets who have been controlling the play, both their shifts. Petrov, Harmlov, Mikhailov. It looks like they're going to be content to get the silver. They want to get the silver. They don't want the bronze. Maybe perhaps their last Olympic game, they gave it all out in the first two shifts of the hockey game that they've taken. Shlutov, the big fellow out there to take the draw. Against Moline from the faceoff, Balderas to Shlutov. Shlutov rolling it in front for Balderas. It's steered off behind the net by Anderson. Now along the boards. Working it out is Erickson at center ice. Anderson over the line, over to the far side. There's a chance for the Swedes as they get it in front of the net and it's steered into the corner. Balderas. Balderas drops it off. Perbukin back to Balderas now. Big Schlutzoff cutting across at center ice as Balderas weaves his way out of the zone. Into the center ice area he comes. And he collides with Schlutzoff. That's like running into a Mack truck behind the net now. Buck is still inside the zone. Now out in front, here's Balderas getting set, and he is spun around. There'll be a penalty call by the referee, Bernie Haley, against the Swedes. It's 1-0 Soviets. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. And from the faceoff, the puck is batted ahead with a glove, so they'll take the faceoff all the way down to the other end of the ice. The penalty, by the way, Lundholm, number 17 for the Swedes, for hooking at 4.49. There's Bernie Haley from Canada, the referee in this hockey game. Soviets win this one, they get the silver medal. The Swedes win it, they get the silver medal. That is so. That's center ice. His pass was off Holmgren's skate. Back inside the zone, Alexander 
Golikov, one of the two brothers. Around the net. Ahead. At center ice. Vladimir Golikov. He loses it. Benisov turns around with it. Beats it over to the far side for Kazadinov. Kazadinov out over center ice himself. Works to the line. Still has that puck. Kazadinov going to the boards on the far side. Kazadinov on the power play. Watch these Soviets shift around inside the zone. And look at this. They throw the puck away. At center ice now. Holmgren over skates it, but he's got the puck. Now Golikov. Golikov over for Makarov. He's over the line. Makarov going one on one. The shot he scores. What an effort by Makarov as he went in one on one with Weinstock. Got to the backhand and fired it past uh, Lindbergh. And it is two to nothing on a power play goal. Makarov, 21 years old, steals the puck just in the neutral zone. The little tip from Golikov moves in. He's got the little stick, very small stick, a short player, goes to his backhand, slides around. Lindbergh, the puck goes right between his legs, just that small opening. He didn't close his legs quick enough. On on the backhand, Soviet Union goes ahead two to nothing. Well, I think we can assume that they do, in fact, want the silver medal. They're playing pretty well here early in the game. Buck is poked away on the far boards now. Maltsev cleared right back into the Soviet end. Back to get it for the Soviets. Valery Vasiliev slammed in against the boards by Norberg. And the puck is out at center ice once again. On the far boards, Erickson. Erickson shooting it in. Vasiliev once again. Vasiliev working with Starikov, and he gets the pass. Now out at center ice, Prudov. Prudov. Had it roll off his stick. Inside the blue line now, the Swede just iced the puck. All the way down into the Soviet zone. Starikov will go back to collect it. And as he touches it, it's called on the icing. The power play goal, Makarov from Alexander Golikov at 5.52, 2 nothing. The Soviets are leading the game. We have now played six minutes and 45 seconds. Viktor Tikhanov, the coach. A frustrating tournament, I think, for him. It didn't look like they were very happy when they came on the ice, Tom. So their warm-ups here at the Olympic Fieldhouse. Pervukin over to the far side. Ilya lets it off on the ice now as it comes into Mushkin. Into the corner. Turning with it is Ilya lets it off to the far corner. Out ahead for Harlamov. This line has really been flying. It poked ahead, and here comes Harlamov again. Over the line. Look out. It's Mihailov in front of the net, and he had it hop off his stick. Good play. Out in front into the slot, but they couldn't get it to the defense. But the Swedes come right back. Lundahl. Lundahl. Trying to get it over the line, and the Soviets are just lining up and stopping them every time they try. It's now it's Petrov over the line, offside. Mihailov came in too quickly on the left wing, so the offside is called. As you said at the beginning, the Soviets weren't too happy when they came out from the warm-up. As a matter of fact, Fedozov, you get another look at the goal. Makarov just pushing the puck on his backhand after making a good move around Weinstock, putting it between Lindbergh's legs. There's Makarov, the goal scorer, but they weren't too happy. Fedozov just took a swing at the glass when he came out, butt end of the glass, as soon as he came out of the, on the ice in the warm-up. Buck rolls out into the slot area. Now it's cleared out to center ice. The Swedes carrying the puck down over the line as Jonsson. He gets in, but then it pops out over the line, and Holmgren brought it in offside. So it's called again. There is Mushkin, the young goaltender. Into this game, he replaced that fella, Vladislav Pretjak, for the second period of the game against the United States. And it appears that he may be the goaltender we'll be seeing a lot of in international hockey. Now the Swedes inside their own end. Finish off around the board, straight up to Schluchtoff. Schluchtoff on the far side, down, down over the line, comes Schwarzoff. Baldera swooping into the slot. Schluchtoff gets the pass back to Baldera to finish off. Finish off shot is right on. And it's blocked by Lindbergh, and he holds on. As we've seen so many times in the tournament, the Soviet defensemen are not afraid to move right up on the play. The little drop pass inside the top. He's right down as far as the dots to take that shot, and that's the fourth man. What you have to watch for in the Soviets is not just the slot man, the third forward coming. You've got to watch for the fourth and the fifth man coming in to get the opportunity. Now the faceoff. Valtin from the faceoff. Loses the puck. Golikov trying to get it out. He does. Right to the blue line. Vasiliev shot, and that whistle's just wide. Starikov moving in. He fans on that pass partially and carrying it around behind his own net is Erickson. 
out the center ice from Waltine to Erickson. Erickson getting it caught up in his skates, works to the line, feeds it in. There was a player trapped inside the line, and it's called on the offside and another faceoff as we look at Sergei Sterikov. And one of the Golikov brothers there, that's Alexander Golikov. From the Kiev region, he plays with Gorky Torpedo, and he's been with the national team since just last year. But we're seeing the, the new faces now being moved in. Seeing the players that will be, I imagine, for the 1984 Olympics. Golikov dropping it into the corner for Sweden. Starting out is Moline. Moline around to this side for Thomas Eriksson. Out to center ice, Lundholm. Lundholm controlling it, now getting it ahead. Anderson, he's forced back. Now Lundqvist. Lundqvist shooting it in. It's over top of the net, off the blocking glove there of Bushkin behind the net. And Alexander Golikov. A rink-wide pass. Makarov, Alexander Golikov to the line. The candles into the far side. Shot in by Vasiliev. And the Swedes take possession, only to lose it in front of the net. And a good save there by Lindberg. And the puck goes to the far boards. Lundholm loses it to Makarov. He's the candles to the line, forced to retreat under some pressure. Makarov still fighting with the puck as he gets it over the line, but it's cleared right back out again. And Sarikov's got it back to Vasiliev. Vasiliev to Alexander Golikov. Golikov over to the far side now, changing on the fly. The Soviets as Lebedev brings it to the line. Lebedev over now for Makarov. Makarov shooting it in behind the net. Golikov, he's slammed in there. The puck bounces high in the air, and the Swedes come away with young Mats Naslin. Naslin at center right. He can fly over the line, drops the puck. Here's the shot, and it's blocked. Good play there by Vasiliev. Puck is behind the net. Cleared against the boards on the far side by Stock. He gets it out of center ice as he is turned around partially by Lebedev. Now it's Ben over to this side. Jonsson over the line. His shot is blocked at the defense. Into the corner it goes. Weinstock in there. Poking away at it. Puck comes out. And the Soviets have it again. They're Vukin. Here's a two-on-one. Maltsev's over the line with Trudov. Maltsev circling the defense. Getting set. Rolls it to the goal mount area. In too deep on the play was Trudov. Trudov over to this side. Here's a chance. Vinny Lentinov scores. Soviets, Vinya Letinov getting the goal. Philadelphia Letinov moving right in again, just what we've talked about before earlier in the show. The Soviets attack with all five players. They control deep in the zone, and you see him moving right in, right in from the blue line, again, almost into the dot. There's the little tip from in front of the net. Maltsev scoring from Biladinov, but he's not afraid to move in. But the goal goes to Maltsev, who just tipped the shot from the defenseman as he moved in from the point. Petrov from the faceoff has it to center ice. Petisov clears it in over the line, turning with it for Sweden is Leif Holmgren. Now over for Hakan Eriksson. In front of the net, Welteen, all the way to center ice with that lead pass. Ahead, spun around as he hit the line was Norberg, and back. Now at center ice, Soviets again control. They've been in control of things totally since this hockey game started. Kazaninov leaving it from a high off over to the far side. Fedosov out at center ice for Harlamov. Harlamov over the line with Mihailov and Petrov. Petrov hacking away at it. Here's Mihailov cutting through the slot. And he couldn't get the shot away, and the puck is cleared down the ice. All the way to the Soviet goal. There'll be no icing on it as Petrov gets the pass from behind the net. Ahead for Mihailov. Mihailov being wrestled off the puck. Moline turning with it. At center ice, Moline leading the rush. Moline's over the line. He's stopped by Petrov coming up from behind. And here comes Petrov. Petrov ahead for Mihailov. And he tried to turn with that pass. And as he did, he was checked by Thomas Erickson. Out at center ice, Lundqvist unable to get past Petrov. Petrov rolling it in front of the net. Erickson, Erickson shooting it out to center ice. And it's Kazadonov. Kazadonov ahead intended for Petrov. Soviets on a change right now as Anderson comes over the line. Here's the return pass for Lundqvist. And it went right by him. Now Balderas up the left boards ahead. That's uh, a pass for Petrov offside on the play and the Soviets will complete their change as the Petrov line goes off the ice and if we're seeing the Petrov Harlamov Mihailov line for the last time I'll tell you they're putting on a show. There's the little tip in Maltsev moving again the defenders they're not afraid you know the Soviet philosophy is when they attack 
they attack with all five players. The defense, when you have possession of the puck, They're part of the attacking unit, and they're not afraid to move in and take chances to get a goal. Vasilia back in his own zone, ahead for Schluktov. Schluktov over to the far side for Balderas. No Schluktov, and Schluktov had it roll off the end of his stick. Behind the net. The Swedes again, trying to get control of this game, and so far failing to is Janssen. Janssen backing up against the boards, clears it over the far side, off the skate of Weinstock. In for checking. There is sports off, and the puck finally comes out to center ice. The Swedes coming away. Mats Alberg stops in over the line. Alberg, Alberg trying to drop it off, and here come the Soviets with Balderas on a break. Balderas along gets it, shoots, and the save by Lindberg. Out come the Swedes. Janssen at center ice, dropped off. Now it's at center ice with Weinstock shooting it in. Digging in is Starikov. Four checking for Sweden is all there. Gets cleared along the board. Schlucked off ahead for Balderas. Balderas is over the line. Stops. Balderas dropping it back. Still has that puck. Now out in front. Here's the shot taken from the blue line by Vasiliev. It drips into the crowd and it's called for a faceoff. The Soviets leading this game three to nothing. What a show they're putting on, too. Balderas going, going off the ice. They're getting cheeky now, being ahead three nothing. Balderas makes the, uh, the breakaway first. Put, tries to put the puck between Lindbergh's leg. Lindbergh dropping, makes the save, but Balderas coming back, did a little spin around, took the puck between his legs, kicked it back onto a stick, just playing with it. Balderas voted the top forward in the 1977 World Championships, another Soviet win, of course. Puck is against the boards on the far side, taking a hit in there is Sergei Makarov. Puck winds up in Soviet possession as Alexander Golikov gives it to his brother Vladimir over the line Vlada there he is coming through as he got by the defense but then lost possession of it against the boards Per Wulkin moving in but comes out to center ice once again and turning with it is Billy Lethodov he just flips it ahead Per Wulkin Per Wulkin working it to the line it drops in there Erickson Jan Erickson out ahead for Hakan Erickson at center ice Sweden Leonard at Nordberg Shooting it in, into the corner he goes, following the puck. He's pushed in against the boards. Sweden still with that puck. Here's Anderson, the shot, and he's just wide with that one. Now, Bilya Lindenov. Around behind the net for Perbuchen. Perbuchen, ahead for Alexander Golikov. It went right by him, all the way down into Swedish territory. Sture Anderson will touch it, and it's called for the icing with 5.31 left in the period. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Well, the face-off, the puck rolled right into Mushkin, the goaltender, and we'll have a face-off in the Soviet end again with 5.16 remaining in the period. Don't forget, we're on the air almost all day with Olympic, live Olympic coverage, figure skating exhibition tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Always a fun thing. It'll come to you from this very spot, the Olympic Fieldhouse, 7 o'clock Eastern time tonight on CTV. Puck is cleared down into the Swedish end past... Alexander Maltsev, he got the puck, but it was caught on the icing and back into Soviet territory. It will go for another face-off. There's Lebedev. From the Soviet Wings Hockey Club. He's been with the national team since 1973. Actually, uh, in his first Olympics, he's kind of a spot forward. There's Alexander Maltsev, and is he ever going to play another hockey game for the Soviets? Well, I'm not sure whether he is. He's uh, perhaps going to be in his last game as well, but a great performer for the Soviet Union for many years. He's had a pretty good tournament, too. Five goals, four assists so far. Now uh, here's Harlamov flying down that right wing again. Boy, are they skating. Here he is down against the side of the board. Take a shot. There's another shot. And that one was taken by Petrov, and he got whacked, I think, across the hand as he took that shot. And he's not too pleased with Alberg. Now Petrov. Collides with Harlamov, goes to the far side. The Swedes are over the line once again. Naislin, Naislin shooting it in. And it's taken there for the Soviet Union by Starikov out at center ice and went right by Mihailov and up into the bench of the Swedes and it's called for another faceoff. The all-time leader in the Soviet Major League in scoring, Boris Mihailov. I have seen him do some things in world tournament play over the years. Oldest member of the team in the Central Red Army. Seven world championships, two gold medals, 
and perhaps a silver medal to go with those here at Lake Placid. Now it's kept in by the defense of Sweden, Sutterstrom, at the side of the net. Cleared around the boards by Billy Letinov. But the Swedes with Waltin. He got spun around on the play as Schwarzoff came in on him. That's Schluckdorf that came in on him. Cleared around behind the net once again for Billy Litanov. He stopped up in the, against the boards. They'll draw the whistle off to the right of Mushkin. There, I think, a shot of Hakan Eriksson from Jurgens, which is the Swedish champion. Only played 19 international games for the young teams. Of course, the Swedes have had all kinds of trouble keeping teams together because they're losing so many players now to the National Hockey League, including, of course, their scoring champion from last year, Anders Keller, who's playing very, very well for the New York Islanders this year. Up against the boards, Alexander Golikov, he clears it in, over skating it on the far side. Erickson, he goes back now for it. There's behind the net, that's Sturry Anderson. Now it's flipped out to center ice, right by everybody, because that enough will go back to touch it. And clear it around the boards, it's waved off on the icing. Alexander Golikov, and he took a high stick, and he is very unhappy with that. And he turned around and whacked. Uh, Bank Lundholm. And I think we're going to get the high. Well, they're both going off for high sticking, I would think. Hooking is the call on the Swedish player. High sticking or slashing is the call from referee Haley on Golikov. There's the Swedish uh, coach, Bengt Olsen, from Lexan. So the face off, we'll see the action there. And there's the Swedish player, Bank Lundholm. Inside the line now, Leif Holmgren, battle for the puck. Now Jonsson comes up with it. There's to the far side, it's over the line. Making the check there is Vasilya. Vasilya back in the corner, drops that puck off. Poked in behind the net. Prudolf, Prudolf coming out now. Prudolf at center ice, working to the line. Prudolf with Maltsev. Trying to feed it back to Maltsev. That back pass failed to work, and the Swedes come away three on two, but Maltsev gets back in the play over the line, and that is intercepted and cleared out to the line, not out. As they add Maltsev breaking, here's the shot that's wide of the net, and Maltsev will pick it up and then leave it for Starikov. Starikov, number 12, he takes the shot. It's knocked down by Lindbergh, and he falls on it as he saw a couple of Soviet attackers coming in on him and halts further play. 2.40 left in the first period. 3-0 Soviets leading. The impressive thing about the Soviets today has been their, their puck control. Young uh, Krutov, a member of their World Junior Championship team from Helsinki in January, now playing with the national team. The Soviets have had the possession of the puck for the majority of the game, really moving it well. It seems like they're coming back from their loss to the United States. Valtine now behind his net. Valtin leaving it. Gets the return pass there from Sutterstrom. In against the boards, Erickson. Erickson trying to get past Per Vuken. Per Vuken's got the puck now. Gives it to the side of that ball. There's out in front. They score! And again, it's Petrov, and that line is struck again. Petrov from Harlem off this time. Another goal scored by the Soviets, who are just flying, especially this line. They lead 4 to nothing. Mikhailov is left all alone in front of the net. Look at him just come down the far side of your screen. He's all by himself. Two-on-one situation in front of the net. Lindbergh tries to stop the pass across. He knows he's there with his stick, but he's just a little... There he's the stick goes out trying to stop it. But Mikhailov shoots it all in one motion from Harlamov. The Soviets go ahead 4 nothing. There's Mikhailov. The score is 4 to nothing. This is CTV Canada's Olympic Network. There's Boris Mihailov, the veteran. Say so many things about him, and there's the play, the goal, the fourth goal. All by himself in front of the net. In fact, he doesn't get all the wood on it that he wanted to when it comes across, but both Waltine and Lindbergh not able to stop that pass across from Harlamov, an easy one for Mikhailov off the edge of the crease. So the face-off, Schluchtoff out there. The official scoring on that, Mihailov from Harlamov and Pervukin. Came at 16 at 17.38. Now the Swedes coming out again. Valtin over to the far side, digging in is Erickson. Jan Erickson circling the net. Right on top of him is Kazadinov, and he winds up in the corner with that puck. Also in there is Fitisov. The puck is pinned in there. 
and called for the faceoff. As you see, Hawken Erickson. Both teams still playing a man short with 10 seconds remaining in the double penalty. From the faceoff, that's the time remaining in the period. Cleared along past Schluchtoff, out to center ice, down over the line, Baltin. Baltin banging it off the boards to the far side. They're taken by Jan Eriksson. Back to Baltin. Baltin to the boards on this side now for Hakan Eriksson. Eriksson back for Waltin. Baltin to center ice. Good playmaking defenseman, Baltin. He gets it to the far side. Eriksson just chops it into the Soviet zone. And it's center ice now. It's Balderas. Balderas for Fedosov coming up. Fedosov winding up the shot. Deflected off Waltin. Sticking right to Lindbergh, who steered it into the corner. Now it's center ice. Taken by Kazaninov over to the side. It's Fedosov. Fedosov is over the line. Fedosov working in deep. Flips it in front. They bat it out of the air, but they bat it wide. And that was, again, Balderas trying to get it by Lindbergh. Now behind the net. Less than a minute remaining in the period. 4-0. Soviets are leading this one. And the Swedes try again. Weinstock at center ice tried to get it down to the line. It came off a stick. He gets it again and just flips it in, bouncing it on Mishkin. And he leaves it to the side of the net. Along the boards, Fedosov clears it out to center ice. Jonsson, Jonsson coming right back again. Jonsson winding up the shot, and it's a blistering one. Mishkin then goes down to hold the rebound with 18 seconds remaining in the period, and we've got all kinds of pushing going on, and came close to seeing our first fight in these Olympic Games as Lundqvist was right in there along with Balderas. Lundqvist took a little exception. Fedosov was a little upset with Lundqvist trying to come and get that poke, that puck loose. Uh, after Mishkin had held on to it, there's a little shoving in front of the net. Fedosov coming over. And the uh, hey, Swedish player hey, Lundqvist, both of them going off, roughing on the play. Two red. It's got a double minor for roughing. Four there, minutes. There you heard Bernie Haley. There's that good shot coming from center ice by Thomas Jonsson. He's owned by the... New York Islanders drafted 25th overall in the draft last summer. 21-year-old defenseman. Behind the net. Stopping back there is Starikov. 11 seconds left. Here's Starikov getting the return pass. There's the rink-wide pass, and they had Mark Makarov breaking on the play, but he just couldn't get it as it deflected off a stick. And there's the horn to sound the end of the first period of play. Four to nothing, the Soviets lead the hockey game. All Soviet Union in the first period, leading four to nothing and having the puck the majority of the time. But it was very seldom in the period that the Swedish team had the puck for any sustained length of time. And they didn't come to the attack. They let the Soviets bring the attack to them. And when you do that, that's fatal because they control the puck so well. By the way, that was a double minor that was handed out to Fedosov. Now that means that uh, early on in the second period, we're going to have a uh, power play advantage for Sweden. But right now, Sweden's just got to figure out how to do it with uh, with everybody on the ice, and they're having an awful time, especially against the, the line that is centered by uh, Vladimir Petrov with Mihailov and Harlamov. We don't have the shots on goal yet in that uh, period. Now we have them. It is 15 to 5, favor the Soviet Union, 4 0 the score. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. В ушах лихая музыка атаки Точней отдай на клюшку пас Сильней удар Сильней удар Все в порядке, если только на площадке Великолепная пятерка и вратарь Суровый бой ведет ледовая дружина Мы верим мужеству отчаянных парней В хоккей играют настоящие мужчины Goaltenders, Vladimir Mishkin, Pele Lindbergh, and we're underway at the, the Soviet Union's leading this game four to nothing. Puck is back in the Soviet zone. Vasilyev. Vasilyev leaving it for Petrov. He's around behind the net. This line has been busy all night. Here's Petrov at center ice, lugging the puck to the line. Now Petrov sweeping into the corner. Petrov still with that puck, rolls it into the slot, but it's cleared away by the Swede Sutterstrom. And back out to center ice where Vasilyev will take it back in his own zone. Vasilyev. 
Over to the far boards, working out to center ice now. Vasiliev cutting to the line. Vasiliev trying to sweep all the way around. He gets the shot. He scores! And Vasiliev end to end to get that one on a backhand shot. Valerie Vasiliev. And the Soviets lead it 5 to nothing, 33 seconds into the period. Lindbergh again having trouble with the backhand shot. It may have touched this defenseman as Vasiliev swept around him, but that's the third backhand goal today against Lindbergh. Sometimes you look for that puck to go high. Here he is sweeping around. It looks like it did touch the defender's stick as he was going down, but the innocent-looking backhand as Vasiliev went around the Swedish defenseman going into the net on Lindbergh. Well, it's the third goal that's been scored while the... Petrov line has been on the ice, but a defenseman picks up this one, likely unassisted. I don't remember anybody giving him the puck inside the zone. Here's Maltsev at center ice. Maltsev coming away with that puck, clears it over the line, breaking in is Lebedev. Lebedev working for the net, but taking the puck for Sweden is Bank Lundholm. In the corner, leaving it there for Thomas Eriksson. Over to the side now, Anderson. Anderson behind the net for Lundholm. He clears it to the far side, turning with it is Lars Moline. Moline on his way to the blue line to center ice that lead pass. It goes all the way down to Michigan, and he holds it for the faceoff. The goal is unassisted at the 33-second mark. Valerie Vasiliev making it 5 to nothing. By the way, the leading scorer in this tournament, just to show how things are changing, Tom, Alexander Golikov has 13 points. Second is young Krutov with... Well, now, not now, because Mihailov and Makarov have moved uh, ahead of Krutov. But coming into the game, there's a three-way tie for second place. But Mihailov, Makarov with 11 points, and Krutov with 10. I'm sure they'd trade them all if they thought they were playing for the gold medal in this hockey game. Exactly. The far boards. It's uh, picked away now by Starikov. He clears it around the boards to this side. Borkas out and off. It's intercepted at the line. Here's Valtine with a shot. And that one was blocked at the goal mouth by Mushkin, and he shoots it down the ice. Down into the Swedish zone. Back to get it will be Valtine, and he picks it up. And it's called on the icing. Lundqvist on the bench. Played in Moscow last year. The first time he is and Valtine. He's from Jure Gardens as well. That's the uh, Stockholm team in the Swedish Elite League, and they are the champions, the defending champions. Also a defenseman who finished fifth in the scoring race last year, Tom. On the faceoff against the boards taken there by Vinya Lentinov around behind the net to the far side there it's Perfukin he shoots it down the ice and no icing on this one and uh, the Soviets now playing at a manpower disadvantage that's because of that penalty the double penalty it was called late in the period now out of center ice the Swedes carrying the puck Weinstock Weinstock over the line home getting set he shoots what a save by Mishkin as he picked that one out of the air. Mishkin. Weinstock making a nice little pass, rushing up, having the man advantage, just putting that little backhand pass over the defender, breaking in all by himself. The good shot. Mishkin coming up with a glove save. On the faceoff now, cleared around the boards. Billy Lintonoff relayed out over center ice by Balderas. Back to get it. Weinstock, number four for the Swedes. Weinstock dropping it off, nearly left it for a Soviet player there. Now a long lead pass for Holmgren at center ice. Holmgren's over the line. Allberg put himself offside, and it'll be called for a faceoff. There's Leif Holmgren. Don't forget the 1980 Olympic highlights on CTV tonight. We'll review the whole 13 days of Lake Placid. That's following the national news tonight on CTV. Moline getting the draw from the faceoff. A minute 16 remaining in the power play advantage for Sweden. Over the line comes Erickson. Erickson has checked on the play. Starikov's got it. He shoots it out to center ice. It's dropped off. Anderson for Moline. Moline behind the net. He stops there in for checking his Makarov. And the pass comes off the heel of a skate, rolls right to the goal mouth area, and Lindbergh himself had to clear it into the corner. Anderson, a try again. Makarov right in top there. Moline, Moline out to center ice, went right by Lundholm. And Vasiliev has got it. He shoots it over center ice and down into the Swedish zone, and Lindbergh's out to leave it. Erickson into the corner. That's center ice, the lead pass, Sinistrum, but he's unable to get past the defense. 
And again, the Soviets, here's a chance now, is over the line, comes Golagov, he shoots, and he shot it wide. Now in the corner, Swedes in possession, Lundholm, the far side, 19 seconds left of the power play, at center ice, it's dropped off. Over the line comes Soderstrom, tied up on the play. There was Lundholm, and a little slashing going on inside the blue line, and the referee didn't see that. I think it was Makarov who took a slash at Erickson. Here's Waltin. The penalty has expired. Waltin at center ice, shooting it in. Digging in after it is finished off. He clears it along the boards. At the blue line, Erickson, Erickson in. Swinging away with that puck is Norberg. Norberg trying to find some skating room. Ends up behind the net. On top of him is Starikov. Norberg still with it. Norberg back towards the line. And finally it's taken away by Mihailov. He drops it back. And that's Basidiev. Basidiev to Starikov. Out at center ice. And here's Harlamov. Harlamov had it roll off his stick. Erickson. He just stepped by Harlamov. Turns, comes back out to center ice, shoots it in. It goes off the chest of Fitisov. The Swedes carry on. Vasiliev now gets it behind the net. Vasiliev, Harlamov. Harlamov clearing it down the ice. Petrov sticking after it. He goes in, tries to roll it in front. Here comes Harlamov. He overskated it, but coming in now on the back end is Vasiliev. He circles into the corner. He is hauled down, and there'll be a penalty call to Sweden. And the Soviets will go on the power play. 5 nothing. Soviets lead. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Alberg is off the ice on the penalty for hooking. Back inside the zone. The Soviets starting out now. It's Kazadinov ahead for Petrov. And he's got all kinds of room with Mihailov moving up. And Puck has slipped in front of the net. And Mihailov couldn't knock it down. Harlamov on the far boards. Harlamov poking away at it, so is Mihailov. Puck bounces to the line, kept in at the line, holding it there and doing a good job to spin us up to Kasatinov. Kasatinov in now for Mihailov. Mihailov backing up to the boards, out for Kasatinov. Back to Mihailov. Mihailov swinging into the corner. Mihailov back behind the net for Harlamov. Harlamov back out to Mihailov. He flipped it over top of the net. Fedosov moves in after it on the far boards. Fedosov. Petrov back at the line. He drops it in for Harlamov. Harlamov circling away from the check. Harlamov goes down. Moving in is Petrov. Petrov's got the puck for, back to Petrov. Little wrestling going on. And the puck is cleared to the side of the net. Harlamov's lost his helmet. Puck is in the corner. Mihailov. Mihailov behind the net for Petrov. Petrov out in front. And fanning on it was Petrov. It was in deep. And the Swedes finally clear it down the ice. Out again, it will be Fedosov from goaltender Mishkin. He turns with it, starts out. Fedosov at center ice. He can carry the puck over to the far side now. Puck is over the line. Digging him deep with it is Krutov. Back to the blue line. Fedosov to Kazadinov. In for Maltsev. Back to Kazadinov. Back to Maltsev. Maltsev working to the side of the net. Rolls it in front. Kazadinov can't reach it. It bounced off a leg out to center ice. And Kazadinov has got it. Over for Fedosov. 12 seconds left of the penalty. And the Swedes get it at center ice. A bouncing puck taken by Moline. Down to the line it comes. Lebedev can't reach it. And it's cleared out over center ice and down into the Soviet zone. And Kazadinov will go back to get it. The Swedes have successfully killed off the penalty. The puck is out at center ice for Maltsev. Good play as he got it away to Lebedev. Lebedev over the line. He's tied up on the play. The puck is back out at center ice. And Kazadinov goes back into his own end for it. Kazadinov behind the net. Over to the far side. It's relayed out to center ice for Lebedev. Lebedev over for Krutov. Over the line for Lebedev. Lebedev had to go back for it. The Soviets changing on the fly with the puck right in front of their bench. Herbukin. Herbukin clearing it ahead. Krutov's over the line. He's all alone. He gets it. Oh, what a goal as it was flipped ahead right on the line. And Krutov just got in there and then played around with it until he could steer it into the goal mound. Well, he's, I think he's trying to put on a little bit of a show there and see what, there's nothing to this game, is there? But Krutov, here's the tip which puts him on side. It just comes over the line, Krutov all by himself. He knows once he's beat the sprawling Lindbergh, he has no problem, just takes his time, touches it over the line. Well, we don't want to hurry that shot because I knew it was going to be in the net anyway. <laughs> Six to nothing. The Soviets leading Sweden. By all appearances, the Soviets will have the silver medal. As over the line, now comes Balderas. Balderas getting set now. Circles behind the net. Balderas trying to hook it away. Puck is cleared into the corner, but the Soviets prevail. 
Into the corner they go, swooping with it is Sportsov. Sportsov out to the blue line now. Stick handling along the line as Billy lifted off, working it in for Schluchtoff. Schluchtoff had it hop off his stick. Billy lifted off now, forced out over the blue line on the checking of Erickson. Now Balderas, he's in over the line. He can't get the puck past Norberg. Balderas, back to the blue line. Quick shot comes in. That was blocked by Sportsov himself in front of the net. And it ends up back down in the Soviet zone. Belia let it off to Schluchtov. Schluchtov back to Belia let it off. And center ice ahead to Balderas. Balderas over the line. Circles back. Drops it off. Flipped in there. Scores. Deflected in front of the net. I believe that will be Sportsov's goal for uh, Schluchtov in front of the net. Sportsov, I believe. Sportsov uh, tapped that puck down on the long shot from the point. Balderas controlling it, throwing it to the point. The puck comes through, and you just see Sportsov just off the edge of the crease deflecting the puck home. You know, and you can't help but feeling the Soviets are ahead 7 to nothing. But, boys, you're doing a little too late. <laughs> A little too late. You can you can act. You can score. You can get ten here, but it's not going to make any difference. The United States has that gold medal. 8:14. The time of that goal. We'll catch up on the scoring in a moment. Naslund breaking in over the line, but he's bumped off the puck there by Vasiliev behind the net. Vasiliev kicking it free, and we'll have a penalty called here as Starikov brought it out over the line, but Ernie Haley, the referee from Canada, has called a penalty for holding. And it'll be called against Valerie Vasiliev. Vasiliev got the goal to start this period at 33 seconds. Krutov from Terbukhin at 7.18. And then it is Sportsov scoring from Balderas and Terbukhin. And that goal came at the eight minute mark. Puck is cleared down the ice. The Soviets killing off a penalty now. For holding, the penalty called on Vasiliev. Behind their own net, it is left there for Mott Snaisland, who is on the list of the Montreal Canadiens, drafted last year. Now Alberg, Alberg can't get out. Alberg then skated right by it. And the Swedes with Weinstock carrying the puck. He hits the line, drops it off. Naisland taking a shot. It's well wide of the net. Goes to the far boards, Holmgren. Holmgren can't control it. Out over center ice, it comes again. And Weinstock will have to go back into his own end. Weinstock, as we near the midway point of the game. Weinstock, carrying the puck himself to center ice, beats it off the boards, but the puck is immediately wheeled right back down the ice by the Soviets. And again, Weinstock will try. Weinstock, number four for Sweden. Beats it off the far boards, past Janssen. In deep is Bittisov. He takes a rough ride from Janssen along the boards. Weinstock can't contain it, and it's all the way down into Swedish territory again. Moline back there, number 23. He just dropped it off for Bengt Lundholm. Lundholm to Moline at center ice. Stick handling with that puck ahead for Lundqvist. He just popped it over to the far side. Lundqvist trailing on the play, gets the puck, gets it in over the line. But he is checked there by Alexander Golikov and has cleared around the boards. Here's Moline. Moline over to the far side. Taken by Erickson. In front for Moline. He's shot. And it's right on. He had a great chance on that one. 23 seconds left of the power play. In the corner, Lundholm. Around behind the net for Fedizov. Fedizov. Out to center ice, Moline knocked that one down, and he shoots it right back in again. 12 seconds left in the penalty as Fedosov gets it again. Beats it rink wide. On this side, Kazadinov banging it off the boards at center ice for Anderson. Storia Anderson right back in over the line. And it goes off his leg twice, gets in front of the net. They steer it right through the goal mouth area, but Söderstrom couldn't convert it. Now the penalty has ended. The puck is out at center ice off the stick of Golikov. Now trailing on the play is Basiliev. He comes over the line. Puck rolls the goal mouth area. And it's loose there. Taken finally by Erickson. He can't control it. Has to go against the boards after it. Petrov is in there as well. And behind the net. For Sweden at Sutterstrom. Out to center ice. Working to the line. It is Erickson. Erickson out in front of the net, but it's intercepted. Here's that lead pass taken by Harlamov. Now Mihailov. Mihailov over the line. Stops up against the boards. Feeds it back. Fedosov. Fedosov working with Kasatinov along the blue line. He circles the defense. Goes in deep. Cleared in against the boards. After it is Hakan Erickson, and it's cleared down the ice. And Kasatinov will go back to touch it. And it's called on the icing. 
8.25 remaining in the second period. The Soviets leading by a score of 7 to nothing. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Right off the faceoff, the puck is cleared down the ice. We're going to get another icing call here as Per Wuchen comes back to touch it. Number five for the Soviets, and the faceoff will come down in Swedish territory. You know, Ron, I can't help but thinking uh, that there must have been a lot of pressure on the Soviet team coming in here. I don't know. They seem to be too experienced a team to be upset by the crowd, but the game against the United States, when they lost the hockey game, they were very, very tight. Today, when they're so loose, there's nothing really at stake except the silver medal, which they've got in their back pocket. They wanted the gold. They're flying today. Buck is cleared along the boards. Petrov can't keep it in as Allberg gets it out at center ice. Now Moline down over the line. He's unable to get loose. That's Johnson, number two. And the Soviets come right back. Ahead for Petrov from Harlamov. Petrov heading for the corner. Out in front of that net is Harlamov. Out for Billy Alethanov. And the puck is steered away and down the ice into Soviet territory. Per Wuchen will come back to touch it. Cleared around behind the net. Billy Alethanov on the far side. Ilya Lentinov ahead, right past Krudov. He gets it himself, drops it over the line. Lebedev, a back pass there for Ilya Lentinov. He's turned around on the play. Lebedev in front, here's a chance now. Krudov gets set, the shot is clipped wide by Mihailov. Now the Swedes on their way out of the zone again. Naisland at center ice, shooting it in. It bounces wide of the Soviet goal. Ilya Lentinov is after it. He beats along the boards for Krutov. Krutov ahead for Lebedev. Lebedev back for Krutov to Lebedev. Lebedev is checked at the blue line, and Ilya Lentinov has to skate back with it. Now for Maltsev. Maltsev ahead, over the line. Lebedev putting it into the slot area. Nobody there that can contain that puck, and Krutov gets it over the line. Now is uh, Lundholm. Lundholm in against the boards. Try to get it back, gets the puck again, back to the blue line for Erickson. Erickson shot, and it drifts wide of the net. In against the boards on this side now. Anderson steering it out to center ice, and it's called on a two-line pass, and we'll have the face-off. Don't forget, on CTV Live, right from this, the Olympic Fieldhouse, the closing ceremonies of the 1980 Winter Olympic Games from Lake Placid, New York. That's live, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Face off will be about 15 feet inside the blue line of the Soviets. And it is Schluchtoff who gets the draw. Sports off in the corner. Over to the far side. Relayed off the boards by Sterikov all the way down the ice. Balderas is in there, but it's Waltine who takes it. Waltine starting out over to the far side. Eriksson shooting it in. Back to get it is Starikov, and as he touches it, icing again, and the face-off again in the Swedish zone with 6-12 left in the second period. 7-0, Soviets are leading. That is not a happy Swedish bench. No, you, you can't uh, blame them. They're down. They're trying to take a little nourishment on that bench, try to collect something, trying to get a goal or two, make it a little more respectable here, but down 7-0 with still 6-12 remaining. It's not very encouraging to the Swedish team. By the way, Per Vuken, the defenseman, there's a shot. It's blocked, that's taken by Balderas. Per Vuken, the defenseman, has four assists in this game. Clear down the ice. We'll review the scoring quickly, perhaps in the next whistle or two. Buck behind the net, and it's touched on the icing, so it'll come back down into the <laughs> Swedish end again. 5.57 left in the period, 7-0 Soviets. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Here over the line now come the Soviets. It's Balderas going in there. The puck is shot wide of the net. Is breaking in with Sportsov, and the Swedes will come right back. Out at center ice it comes. Alberts over the line. Gets by the defense. Clears it to an open wing. Moving in is Weinstock. He winds up. He's got that good shot, but it was blocked at the defense by Sportsov. Now beside the net. Cleared into the corner. Naislin digging after it. Also Vasiliev in there. He takes a shove at Naislin, who's a small fella. And it winds up with the puck. It's now it's slipped off over for Balderas, dropping it there. Now comes Sportsov back. Four, oh, slipped off, and he scores, and it's 8 nothing. What can you say? They've, they've oh. just controlled the puck from beginning to end. It's as much like saying, boys, you shouldn't have challenged this before. A super play at this point. Shluktov makes the original pass. Balderas throws it back to Sportsov. Watch all in one motion. Doesn't even wait for the puck. You know, to line it up, he shot all in one motion, just under the bar, inside. The shot couldn't have been better. No wasted motion in the net. The Soviets go ahead eight to nothing. <laughs> Where's it gonna stop? It's gonna look like Japan all over again. 
That's the whole line doing it there from the faceoff now. It is cleared ahead. Kazadinov down at the line goes Alexander Golikov in the corner now. Cleared away. Kept inside the zone. Here's Fedezov. Shot. He scores on the backhand. And it is nine to nothing. Fedezov getting in deep. He's been doing it all game. Something I didn't see too much of it in other games, but he is roaming inside the zone from the point. And take a look at this. Makarov doing the hustling, but the blind pass being thrown at this point. Fedezov moving in, moves to his backhand, and I believe that's the fifth backhand goal that's been scored today on Lindbergh. The Soviets haven't forgotten about their backhands, as a lot of other play hockey players have. A lot of players want to take it to their forehand. Now from the faceoff, Golikov falls as he hits the line, but the puck is cleared out to center ice. Kazadinov over for Fedezov. Fedezov ahead off the boards. Makarov inside the line, trying to roll it in front, and the Swedes come right back. It's center ice, it's Moline. Moline to the line, trying to work it through. Makarov then clears it away to center ice. Now it's Golikov. Golikov getting around a check, put it right onto the stick there of Anderson. Still inside the zone. Fedezov gulps one in there, and it's wide of the net. Now Lundholm, Lundholm ahead for Moline. Moline's over the line. Moline going to his backhand, drops it back. There's the shot. It's blocked with the defense. The sliding was Fedosov on the play, and it's center ice now. Off the stick of Golikov. That's Vladimir Golikov out over the blue line to center ice. Kasatinov, a rink wide pass, and picking it up is Alexander Golikov. Golikov losing it. To Weinstock is thrown away right in front of the net. The shot is fired over top of the net by Makarov. Now Makarov in against the boards. Makarov trying to get it to the line. Still with that puck and it's poked out to center ice. And coming back for it will be Kazadinov. He feeds it off to Fedosov on the far boards. Ahead. And now it's Petrov. He can't control it. Puck is over the line. But Petrov again gets it as the defense covers up. Now. Still inside the blue line, but having trouble and finally recovering is Kazadinov out of center ice for Petrov. Petrov dropping it off. Makarov unable to control it. Harlamov's got it now inside his own end. Fedosov. Fedosov out to Petrov. Petrov. Fed it right by Mihailov. Harlamov's got it. Harlamov. Harlamov beating it back. Kazadinov back inside his own end. Passed dangerously in front of his own net. Pass Hakan Nielsen. Puck is out at center ice. Mihailov can't knock down that pass. Norberg cutting back inside his own blue line. He drops it back. Now it's Baltine. Baltine to center ice. Still with the puck as he hits the line. Baltine with a shot, and it's wide of the net. Norberg in deep. He circles the net. Norberg cutting out in front. It's taken by Petrov, and he flips it out to center ice, where Weinstock gets it again. He comes to the line. He's checked on the play. Now trying to get in is Alberg. That is taken away by Fedosov. Here's a race for the puck at center ice with Mihailov. He can't reach it. The puck is outside the blue line. And starting right back is Holmgren. Holmgren being checked from behind by Petrov. And it's called on the offside with 2.34 left in the period. And 9-0 is the score for the Soviets. They are on their way to the silver medal here. Of course, the United States has won the gold medal. Don't forget tonight... We will have figure skating exhibition, 7 o'clock Eastern time on CTV. This is always a fun event as the champions of the 1980 Olympics show their skills under the non-pressure atmosphere, just having fun. Always one of the nicest shows in the Olympics. Buck is jammed in against the boards and held in the Soviet zone. You wonder about the non-pressure atmosphere that we have here in the hockey game. The Soviets ahead nine to nothing. You wonder how much the Sweden being really down in the hockey game. But you think, you know, they'd want to win the silver medal. The Soviets, no pressure on them. The gold, they're, they're flying here today, but boy, it's a little too late. From the faceoff, it's behind the net. Cleared over to this side. Taken by Billy Lentinov. He clears it right in front of the net. It's set for Weinstock, and he hung on to it just too long. And the puck is cleared away. Now still inside the zone. Weinstock in deep there, but the pass was intercepted by Verwoken on the far side. He gets it out the blue line, not out. Johnson. Johnson winding up his shot at the post. And the puck bounces into the corner. Now out in front of that Weinstock. Weinstock just wheeling it in there and skating right by that pass it was all there. All there poking away at it against the boards. Now chopped in behind the net. And taking it for the Soviet Union is Lebedev. Lebedev out at center ice for Maltsev. Maltsev over the line. Maltsev swinging away from the check. Good play. Rolls it out in front. Now behind the net, they try to jam it. It's rolled up to the...
blue line moving in there and backhanding it in as Billy lifted off with the sweep, just clear it down the ice, and we'll have an icing call here as Billy lifted off, and now Per can go back. Per touches it. It'll be back inside the Swedish end with 1.17 left in the second period. While ahead 9 nothing, Alexander Maltz has the shot from the point that hits the post. Here's the shot coming through, and that's as close as Sweden has come all day. The puck hits the post and comes back out. But Maltsev just joshing now. He's like Cyclone Taylor. Looked like he wanted to try to uh, score a goal going backwards at that point, being ahead 9 nothing. But they're just playing now and having fun. From the faceoff, the Swedes coming to center ice. Will they get a goal in this game? That becomes a question. There's the shot. It trips by Mushkin and to the far boards now. After it is Lundholm, comes out near the blue line. There, Erickson has it. Lundholm against the board. He's being held in there. Uh, they kick away at it. Finally, it's Schluchtoff who gets it out to center ice. Back now for Moline, number 23. He's over the line. He flips it in. A bouncing puck scooped up off the ice by Mushkin. Fed into the corner. Now out to center ice. Taken for the Soviets by Sterikov. Over the line for Balderas. In deep. That's Erickson. Erickson being checked on the play. Balderas. Balderas behind the net. Schwarzoff is in there as well. They'll pin it in with 30 seconds left and try and hold it. Now it's poke free. Back into the crowd again. After it there is Erickson. Comes out loose. Now out to the point. There's Vasilia, number six. His shot's right on, juggled by Lindbergh, and he holds on for the faceoff. 18 seconds left. During our second intermission, we're going to be speaking with Brian O'Neill, the executive vice president of the National Hockey League. Bill Inko will have a feature on the Olympics and what they will mean to the village of Lake Placid. And, of course, we'll have second period highlights, which means another how many goals? Five goals of the Soviet Union. Bernie Pascal will have those for us. Nine to nothing, the score. On the faceoff, down over the line comes Norberg. Norberg going into the corner. On him is Starikov. Norberg now out in front, a quick shot, and that's blocked by Schluchtoff. Now out at center ice, Balderas takes that one going backwards. He's over the line. Here's the shot, and it trips over top of the net just as the horn sounds to end the second period. And it now becomes a question of just how many will the Soviets get. Soviets completely dominating the period. They have the puck. They've had the puck since the beginning of the hockey game. Now they're, they're, they have Sweden down so much that they're doing things that they normally wouldn't do. We see Balderas a little spinorama to pick up a pass. We see Maltsev turning around. He goes one on one with a Swedish defender trying to score a goal going backwards. And now they're just joshing and playing around. They're loose, moving that puck. They have it all the time. It's only going to be a question of how many goals they can score. Well, Sweden outshot the Soviet Union 8 to 7 in that second period, but on the seven shots that the Soviets got, they got five goals. They lead this one 9 to nothing after two periods of play. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. The birth date of hockey in the Soviet Union, February 22nd, 1946. 34 years ago, the Soviets first got involved in organized hockey, and while they will not have a gold medal here at the Lake Placid Olympics, there's no question they'll certainly have the silver medal. They've overpowered Sweden in the game today. They lead 9-0 after the 40 minutes of play. We'll have highlights of the second period coming up a little later during this intermission, but right now, let's go back to Lloyd. Earlier today, the USA won the gold medal at the Olympic hockey competition with a 4-2 win over Finland. The game underway right now, the Soviet Union and Sweden for the silver and bronze medal. And it's really been no contest. The Soviets scoring five goals in the second period. They lead nine to nothing. Krutov scores the sixth goal. Number nine, Krutov beats Lindbergh, the Swedish goaltender. Lindbergh comes out. Takes a swing at the stick and puck of Krutov, misses. Krutov just backhands the puck slowly into the net. That made it 6 0 for the Soviets. Vortsev made it 7 0 before this play here. Zlukov, Balderas, and Vortsev. Vortsev number 26, Zlukov number 22. A pretty passing play between the three Soviet players, and it was 8 0. Zlukov combining with Helmut Balderas and Svortsev. Now there's Luktov, the big 6-3 center. Balderas, Svortsev now back to the slot and a high shot past Lindbergh. The final goal of the second period, 
Fedosov, the defenseman, intercepts a pass and backhands it past Swedish goaltender Pelle Lindbergh. And there's Fedosov moving in, and he sends that shot into the Swedish net. Soviet struck early in the first period after 36 seconds, and then they scored early in the second at the 33-second mark, and they have that commanding 9-0 lead. Fedosov, one of the outstanding young defensemen with the Soviets, moves in here and just lifts it on the backhand drive into the net. And that's how it stands right now, a nine-goal spread with the Soviet Union leading Sweden. And we'll be back at the Olympic Fieldhouse for the play-by-play of the third period. And a reminder, this is CTV. Well, the celebrations continue at the 1980 Winter Olympics for the United States gold medal in ice hockey. Their first in 20 years, the first time in 20 years that the Soviets are not the uh, defending Olympic champions. They won four gold medals in a row. But right now, the Soviets en route to their silver medal bit on the ice and all set to go. There you see Mishkin. In the Soviet goal, Trechak on the bench for this hockey game. The last time he started a hockey game, and I guess of this level, was against the NHL All-Stars in the Challenge Company, registered a 6-0 shutout in that game. Well, how much confidence they had in Trechak was shown at the World's Championships last year in Moscow. Of the 12 games in Moscow in the World's Championships last spring, Mishkin played in the last 10 minutes of the last game when the Soviets had an 8-1 lead. The rest of the time, Trechak went the whole way. Of course, he came in uh, in the game against the U.S. after Trechak had let in a couple of soft goals. A story on Trechak, of course, and I think it bears repeating. The feeling in international hockey circles is he has been used far, far too much over the years that he's probably just a worn-out, burnt-out goaltender. He has not played well for about a year. He plays in the neighborhood of 80 to 90 games a year. In his own team, he has played all but two games this year. That's for the Central Red Army in regular league play, plus all of their international endeavors, which includes the Rudy Bravo and the, and the games uh, against uh, in the Izvestia tournament. But play's underway here, a 9-0 hockey game. The question we have to ask ourselves is, can Sweden get a goal? Thomas Janssen out to center ice, beats it ahead. That is uh, Mats Alberg over the line, but Benesov is in, and he falls. There's a chance for Alberg. He rolls it out in front. But it comes all the way back to Janssen. Janssen moving in. Trying to get in front of that net now. Doing a good job of it, too. But he's finally hauled down. And there will be a penalty to Vladimir Petrov. So Petrov will be going off. A reminder that tonight, following the national news, the 1980 Olympic highlights. That's the full 13 days of competition here in Lake Placid. All of our reporters will be on hand for this final show. We'll try to bring you all of the highlights, the many, many highlights that there have been in this competition. Canada's medal performances. That's tonight following the national news on CTV. The power play from the faceoff. Back to the blue line. This is ball team number nine winding up the shot just wide of the net. Behind the net now. It's poked into the corner, moved along the board. Ball team just pokes it down behind the net. Taking it there is Soderstrom. Soderstrom behind the net. Now working for it is Erickson. Hakan Erickson behind the net again. And now for the Soviets. It is Starikov. Out to center ice. It's dropped back to the blue line. Jan Erickson for Valtin. Valtin being forced way back in his own zone by Maltsev. Now Valtin, the rangy hockey player. Shoots it out over center ice. Soderstrom's over the line. Soderstrom trying to get it over to the left wing. It's intercepted by Maltsev. Maltsev to Krutov. Krutov over the line. Trying to get it in front of the net. He's knocked down. Nearly hooked it into an open net there as he's cutting through the slot. Behind the net. For Sweden, it is Norberg. Norberg at center ice. To the line, Norberg. The candling drops it off. They try to flip it out. Krutov goes down. No penalty on that as Krutov was trying to break out with the puck that was intercepted. Now Anderson. Stoney Anderson. Over the line. Erickson. Into the corner. Anderson coming in as well. Puck hops high in the air. Moline traps it at the blue line. Wrists it in towards the goal. And it is taken for the Soviets by Sterikov. Now it's Erickson. Erickson winding up, and that shot is blocked by Sterikov. Hops high in the air. Everybody's lost sight of it. Where'd it go? In the rafters? <laughs> Into the stands and the fans after. You were mentioning, you were mentioning about uh, Trechak playing so much. One of the things that uh, people feel internationally 
they feel that the Soviets haven't developed the number of goaltenders that they have the, the other players. You know, a Makarov comes out of nowhere, Krutov, Kazatnov, Fedosov, all young hockey players. You wonder where they all come from, but you never see anybody play in these tournaments except Trechak and Mishkin. And you wonder how many good goaltenders they have in the Soviet Union in comparison with their other skaters. 26 seconds left of the power play. Now is turning and coming to center ice is Moline. He stops up at center ice, drops the puck off, comes over the line, shooting it in there is Lindholm in the corner. Backhanded around the net. Herbutin. They jam it in there, and it'll be held with 12 seconds left in the power play by Perbukin inside the Soviet zone. Perbukin from Moscow Dynamo. He's won a couple of Olympic golds on the national team since 1976. It was the last Olympic year, of course. So, and to take the draw now will be Leif Holmgren. In the face off, it's back behind the net. Per Wilken, Per Wilken off the boards, but it's intercepted. Albert, Albert looking for a man, gets it to Johnson. Johnson winding up, but the shot is off the stick glove of goaltender Michigan. Back along the boards now. Coming to center ice is Sportsoff. Sportsoff. I think it's through the line. Now they come in. There's a player tripped up. Sportsoff can't control it. The Swede's coming right back out again. And getting it is Sportsoff again. Ilya Letinov over skates it. Back inside the zone. Sportsoff again. Sportsoff over to this side. Taken by Vasilyev. Out to center ice. That's off a stick. Now Naslin turning. He's got some speed. Comes to the line and his shot is off the leg of Billy. Let it off and drifts wide of the net. Cleared around the boards on the far side. Taken by Schwarzoff. Now it's Makarov. Now Schluktov. Schluktov trying to work his way free. It's stopped by the defense. And turning back is Weinstock. There's Soderstrom. Over the line. He stopped. Here we come again. Makarov. Makarov to Balderas. Balderas working to his backhand. And he is upended, head out at center ice, trying to stick handle and unable to control it was Norberg. But here comes Thomas Johnson. He's got that shot. It's just wide of the net off a stick. Ends up in the corner. Cleared into the corner on this side. Norberg. But the Soviets have got it. Out of center ice comes Golikov. Golikov to the line. Back to Balderas. And there's the shot. Good save there by Lindberg on a good play. They come again over the line, cleared in front of the net, and the Soviets again wheel away with it. Balderas, Balderas, just stick handling, trying to get over the line. He stopped Golikov, Golikov dropping it back. Kazadinov in front of his own net. Being four checked by Hakan Erickson out at center ice. Waltin comes right back in again. Waltin getting set in front of the net. He shoots, and he's just wide on the far side. Now out at center ice, it's Lundholm. Lundholm dropping it back. Again, Sweden trying to get out. Moline now has it. Moline over for Lundqvist. Lundqvist falls and slides right into the referee, Bernie Haley. And that's a little dangerous with the skates up. But he, everybody's all right. The faceoff will come in the center ice area. As you look at Pelle Lindberg, who will be on his way, I imagine, next season to the Philadelphia Flyers. Well, Lindbergh makes the stop, and he's had lots of work today. The backhand's giving him quite a bit of trouble. Mishkin having to make a good save on Valtine, who broke in, the captain of Sweden, trying to put Sweden on the scoreboard, get some respectability here in the third period. A reminder to stay tuned for Cease TV. Full coverage of the Olympics continuing right through to the time following the national news. But we'll be staying on the air after this game for the medal presentations, for the bobsledders, and of course that gold medal to the U.S. hockey team. Back inside the blue line, Vasiliev, Vasiliev circling back, working with Starikov on defense. Petrov's out now. Petrov against the board. The puck is cleared down the ice. Moline will go back for it. Number 23, Moline, back to touch it. No icing on the play. Mihailov trying to beat Harlem off there. Puck goes against the boards. Petrov jamming it in, rolls it into the corner. Mihailov, now behind the net, it's Erickson. Erickson starting out, out to center ice. Here is Moline, over to the far side, digging in. There is Lindholm, he's behind the net. Moline now, he tried to get it out in front. It comes to Harlem off. he overskated it. Jam in against the boards. And it's now Alberg. Alberg trying to get a rick wide pass. That's intercepted by Petrov. Harlamov trying to get out. He was checked by Alberg. Lost his balance. And Johnson covers up. Behind the net. Johnson. 
Judson to the far side. Cleared out to center ice. This will go all the way down the ice. No icing. They say that Vasiliev just did not make any effort to touch that one, so play will go on. They're just playing this one out. Buck is inside the zone. There's a chance for Sweden out in front of the net on the short side, and Holmgren has a good chance, but he just got it up on the chest of Mushkin. Now it's down into the Swedish zone. Back to get it will be Weinstock. He touches it. It's called on the icing. Face off of the Soviet end. 9 nothing. Soviet. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. So the face off will be to the right of the Soviet goal. Take the draw for Sweden. Hakan Eriksson. He gets the draw. Now it's taken by Sutterstrom. He's unable to control it. Comes up to center ice. Malsev. Malsev trying to beat Trudov on the wing. But the Swedes cover up once again. Now it is Erickson. Erickson along the boards, goes off Lebedev's stick. He has to chase it down on the wing, but also there is Erickson, Jan Erickson. He clears it into Soviet territory. Vidya Litvinov behind his net. Clears it into the corner, taken there by Erickson. How can Erickson try to get in front, try to push it through there? Finally ends up on the stick of Per Vulcan. Per Vulcan behind the net on this side now. Vilya Litvinov at center ice, knocked out by Waltin. He throws it to the far wing, over the line. There comes Erickson. He stopped, and here come the Soviets once again. It's, Mal it's over the line. Maltsev, Maltsev going into the slot. Gets behind the net now. He's got Lebedev out in front. He rolls it out to the blue line. There's the shot, and it bounces wide as Lebedev deflected it. Now cleared around the boards, and Vilya Litvinov was way in on the play. Icing will be the call here again as we get Pervokin touching it and the faceoff back in Swedish territory. Well, again, we saw Maltsev trying his little spinorama. I think he's trying to just prove something today. You know, the story goes that that uh, in, in early Canadian hockey, the Cyclone Taylor scored a goal moving backwards. Well, he's trying to perfect the move, and we watched him in practice here try it. He moves to the defense. He does a complete spinorama with the puck, and as he's turning around and moving backwards, he just backhands the puck all in one motion. And he's trying that now late in the hockey game with a score of 9-0. And trying to get out of his own end and finally getting the puck out is Thomas Erickson has cleared into Soviet territory behind the net. For the Swedes, it's Anderson getting it to the boards on this side for Lundqvist. His shot is right on. Anderson right there, but he couldn't deflect it. Now Anderson again against the boards at the blue line for Erickson. And it's knocked out by Shluktov out at center ice ahead for Kazadinov. Kazadinov over the line along with Shluktov who digs in in the corner after it. On top of him is Erickson. Puck comes out in front. Svortsov. Svortsov working past Erickson behind the net. Anderson clearing it around. Picking it off there is Lundholm. He gets it out to center ice. Back forward for the Soviets. Kazadinov also in there is Fedezov. Fedezov comes away with a puck ahead for Balderas. And it was off his stick and down into Swedish territory. Weinstock back to get it. Weinstock behind his net. Weinstock at center ice, that long lead pass. Alberg, Alberg over the line. Epals gets the pass away, but it went off a stick out to center ice and Naslin turns. Naslin shooting it in, blocked easily at the goal by Mushkin. High in the air it comes, Fedezov's got it. Fedezov from behind his own net, starting out. Balderas flying at center ice, that crisscrossing motion. At center ice as Fedosov circles back now. Over to the far side. Taken there by Skortsov. Back on this side. Fedosov. Fedosov as the Soviets just play with the puck. Fedosov. The stick handling. Putting on a little demonstration. Now decides to put it out to center ice for Makarov. He's stopped by Weinstock. Puck comes loose. Now down over the line for the Swedes is Naslin. Naslin cutting in front of the net. And the puck is dropped back. Here's the chance for the Swedes. In front they shoot. They score. As Alder got that pass and put it in. And the shutout is broken. The Swedes have scored. It draws a roar from the crowd here. The crowd so far have been sitting on their hands since the United States won the gold medal. But the drop pass, keeping the puck in at the point. Alberg moving here with a quick shot to Michigan's club hand. He gets a piece of it, it hits the crossbar and then drops down behind him. But Sweden is now on the scoreboard with their first goal. There's the glove on it, hits the crossbar, drops right down into the corner of the net. Mats Alberg, 33-year-old forward from Lexand, Sweden. This is his sixth, well, he's been six times in the World Hockey Tournament, starting back in 1973. Oh, sliding hard into the boards. 
That was Norberg inside the blue line. The Soviets were playing around with a puck in their own end. That's offside. And uh, finally, something was going to happen. They have just quit really doing anything except playing around. It's like shinny out there right now. Well, I, I feel, you know, being in the coaching business, you feel sorry for Tommy Sandlin, the coach of the Swedish national team. Your team is down 9 nothing at the end of two periods. I mean, what do you what do you say to it? On a, and about the only thing you can say to the hockey club is, hey, let's try to win one period in the game, and Sweden is winning this period so far 1 nothing after losing the first two, 9 nothing. Over the line comes Norberg into his own zone, drops the puck off. Now Valtin out at center ice, moving up is Erickson. Hocken Erickson over the line now. Erickson rolling it in front and is taken away from the goal mouth area by Vasilia. Now the Soviets out at center ice, down over the line. It is Golikov. Golikov stops up in the corner. Alexander Golikov finding a man in the slot and Vasilia was breaking in there. And now the Swedes have got the puck. Alberg from Lundqvist and Holmgren at 9.17. That's the goal as Waltine gets it in front of his net, clears it out to center ice. Looked ahead now. The Swedes come in. Lundqvist gets the shot. It's gloved by Mishkin. He hangs on for the faceoff. 9-1 to one the score. The Soviets leading with 9.27 left in the hockey game. And the goal seems to have given Sweden a little bit of a lift here. They're beginning to carry the play a little more. We see Mishkin ducking, trying to see that first shot coming through. There's the shot, the goal just getting under the crossbar. Mishkin gets a piece of it. First Swedish goal. Mishkin has had it pretty easy so far tonight. And Lindbergh has been shelled. Face off, they'll do that one again. There's Vladimir Petrov. 1973 at a world tournament, he scored 18 goals in 10 games at that tournament. I wonder how many of them are against Japan. Puck fired off the board. Soviets beat Japan in this tournament 16 to nothing. Could have been 30 to nothing, I thought. Banged off the boards, out to center ice. Petrov's got the puck. Petrov beating now. A good pass to Mihailov, who's busting in, and it rolls right to the goal mouth. Uh, doing a good defensive job there was Moline, and it's out at center ice once again. Now back into the Swedish zone. Ericsson over to the far side. Moline. Moline working to center ice. Moline shooting it in. And behind the Soviet net, taken by Pervukhin. Pervukhin, Harlamov, Pervukhin again. Pervukhin leading the rush at center ice. Pervukhin busting down on the left side, makes the shot, now tries to sweep the defense. He's got men up front, and he rolled it in as Mihailov was looking for his second goal of the game. There's Trejak on the bench. Pervukhin moving right in. Again, the defenseman for the Soviets taking all kinds of chances, lugging the puck out. When he moved out behind the net, he threw it back from the same side he was going in. They don't like to go around the net and throw it from the far side. They like to throw it, catch the goaltender moving to the far side. The back of Tomas Jonsson, drafted by the Islanders. We see a little bit of him. They already have Anders Kalur. Here's a shot cleared away from the goal mouth area by Weinstock. On the far boards, Weinstock after, players go down, puck is loose, Weinstock comes away with it, puts it out on the board, just batted out to center ice, trying to look, hook it around and does Holmgren now, he goes into the corner, Holmgren still with that puck, being checked as he's ridden in against the boards by Kazadonov. And finally, it's taken by Lebedev, Lebedev to Maltsev, Maltsev at center ice, this is a two-on-one with Krutov. Maltsev over the line, feeds it through. Prutov was in too deep. Coming across to get it is Lebedev. We may have a roughing penalty being called here. And <laughs> Prutov, I don't think, knows what the heck is going on. In any case, 8.02 left, 9 to 1 Soviets. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Soviets playing a man short here, roughing penalty to Krutov. He's in, the puck is along the board. There's Shlutov, the big fella, ducks away from a check, even though they were short-handed the way they're playing right now. Behind the net now, Shlutov still with that puck. That big long reach of his, hard to check. Still has the puck. Trying to muscle it in against the boards, and finally, Hakan Erickson gets it, takes it around the net, comes to center ice with it. Erickson, Erickson to the line. Erickson still with that puck, drops it off for Sutterstrom, and it winds up back at center ice, Waltine. Team. Over for Norberg. 7.22 left in the hockey game. At center ice. Nick Handling down to the line is Norberg. Norberg still with the puck. He goes down on the play against Schlutkoff. And it's Vasilia. Vasilia just leisurely sliding it across the ice. Now back to Vasilia. Vasilia slides it out to center ice. And 
back down into the Swedish zone. Now the Swedes will come away now. It's Lundholm with it. Lundholm out to the blue line to center ice. That's Erickson. Erickson in over the line. A shot is wide of the net. Comes off the dasher behind the net. Down goes Lundholm as he was going in. He's all right. The Soviets start away. Vasiliev against the boards. He's checked there by uh, Lundholm. Out in front and panning on it was Lundholm. And rolls out in front of the net. But saving that particular effort was Starikov. Starikov over for Shluktov. Shluktov back in for Vasiliev. Vasiliev ahead for Starikov. who just deflects it over center ice. And it's Erickson. Erickson. To Moline. Moline ahead. To the line now for Lundqvist. He comes into the corner. Lundqvist. Lundqvist out to the blue line. Moline back into the corner for Bet Lundholm. And that pass is intercepted by Schluckdorf. And Schluckdorf's at center ice. Schluckdorf. Over against the boards. Back forward is Anderson. A rink wide pass. The Swedes changing on the goal. The penalty has expired. And out over center ice now, the Swedes. That's Naslin, but he can't get through. The puck is cleared into the Soviet zone. And back to get it to Starikov. Starikov, he's checked. Puck comes right in front of that. There's the shot, a rebound, and they score. It was stopped and then seemed to hop over. Goaltender, Mushkin. And the Swedes are on the board for their second goal. Sweden coming back, getting some measure of revenge here late in the third period. The first shot, block continuing on. Michigan can't seem to kill the puck. There's the second opportunity coming. The puck hopping over top of him and into the corner of the net. Another look at it. The first shot coming. He stops the first one, goes down, but doesn't know where that puck is. Then there's a little bit of the play coming in late. Albert just putting that puck over top. Puck is cleared down. Holmgren got the goal. At 14-21, the assist going to Naslund. And it is 9-2 now with 5-21 remaining in the game. Lindberg out of the net. Naslund kicking it along the boards. Soviets in for checking. Cleared into the corner. There it's Johnson. Johnson out the center race for Naslund over the far boards and off the boards and into the Soviet zone past Alberg. And it's called on the icing. And a face-off down in the Swedish end of the ice with 5.07 left. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Face off, chasing the puck down inside the zone is Erickson. Puck is cleared around the boards, and the Soviets will come out to center ice with it. Makarov, Makarov ahead to Golikov. Golikov over the line, he goes down. Puck winds up in the corner. Makarov after it, behind the net. Checking there is Sutterstrom, number 21, but it's Alexander Golikov who gets it. Golikov beating it over to the far side. Players go down on the play. Erickson gets it. Erickson beating it back into the corner. Makarov's in there as well. And the puck is flipped out to center ice with 4.23 left in the game. Now turning. Coming in over the line. Alexander Golikov with lots of room. He shoots. Oh, good save there by Lindbergh. But he actually shot after the second move, the second unnecessary move. I think the Soviets feel they have enough. There's a shot. It's gloved by Mushkin. And he holds on. We'll have a face off in the Soviet end. Sweden getting caught in the middle of a change. Golikov jumping on top of the puck. Moving inside, getting the opportunity. Made the move to the outside, then came back to the inside. We see the puck just rolling wide of the net on Lindbergh, but a good move by Golikov. A very alert move, jumping in when Sweden get caught. Everybody over at their bench in the middle of the change. Nine to two, the score. The Soviets leading. Per Buchen, the top scorer, the defenseman. He has four assists in this game. Well, we tried to get our cameraman there was putting a face mask over top of the camera at the end. Tried to give our fans a look at what the goaltender sees from behind that mask. Out of center ice now. Here is Mihailov. Mihailov along with Petrov. Mihailov to Petrov. And he fanned on it. The loose puck is picked up. Thrown into the slot. But tipped away and out to center ice. Back with it now. Harlamov, number 17. Over to the far side. Now cleared into the Soviet zone. Vasiliev around to the far boards. Kazadinov let it go by. The shot rips in from the point. And Pe Petisov has got it. Not Petisov, but Petrov. Petrov clearing it up to the blue line again. Anderson with a shot, and he's wide with it. Now cleared wide of the net again. Out to the blue line to center ice and all the way down into the Swedish zone. Back to get it is Erickson. Erickson golfs it to the blue line, not out, kept in by Kazadinov, rolled in front of the net and hoisted up into the air and down the ice by the Swedish defense. And they'll go for a change as way out of his net there is uh, Mushkin. He holds it himself in the corner. 
We'll get a face off in his own end of the ice with 313 left. The closing ceremonies tonight, live on CTV. The colorful closing ceremonies from the Olympic Fieldhouse here. It's always an emotional moment. 9.30 tonight, Eastern Time, live across the CTV network. Maltsev on the far boards, behind the net. Taken by Vasilyev. Now over for Starikov. Starikov out of center ice, it's off a skate. Naslin couldn't control it. Johnson back in his own end. Over to the far side. Weinstock. Weinstock out at center ice. All Barrick. He tried to feed Naslund on that play. Naslund cutting in and behind the net after it. But the defense covers up. Krutov. Krutov trying to get loose, but is taken away by All Barrick. All Barrick clearing it into the side of the net. And it's blocked by the defense. Flipped over to the far side. And Maltsev's got it at center ice. Maltsev on the right hand boards. Gives it to Krutov. Now that is Lebedev. Lebedev clearing it out to center ice. Then Vasiliev deflected it off his skate back inside the zone. 2.30 left. The faceoff will be outside the Swedish blue line on the offside. Valery Vasiliev, who is just going off now, the veteran Soviet defenseman, exchanged sticks with Dan Delvis of the Canadian team after the Canada-Soviet game. And Dan took it into our dressing room. We have a gauge there where you can check the curvature and the width of it. And both the width of the stick and the curvature were about a half inch more than normal. It's just a phenomenal play that he has on it. But this seems accepted in European hockey. Looks like you could have called everybody for a stick measurement after that game. Not only who was it you were after, uh, Golikov, Alexander Golikov. Now from inside their own zone. Fervokin out at center ice, Waltin, Waltin shooting it back in again. Digging in for it is Vilya Litvinov in the corner. He slides it along the board. Swartzoff on the far side. Vilya Litvinov moving in as well as the puck is cleared around the boards for Fervokin on this side. Fervokin behind the net. Vilya Litvinov. Less than two minutes left in the game now. Into the corner it goes. Out in front. Intercepted by Vilya Litvinov. He gets it to the blue line. Not out. Puck deflects past Alberg. And here come the Soviets again out of their own end. Swartzoff. Swartzoff fighting his way to the line. He gets in ahead of the puck. Delayed off side but the Swedes brought it right back out again and it's bounced back into Soviet territory with 138 left in the hockey game. Now Schlucht off to Balderas. Balderas had it poked off his stick. Anderson on the far side. There to the, to the boards. Sports off. Sports off. Coming down over the line. Trying to get through is Moline. Schlucht off on the far side. Into the corner it goes. Behind the net, taken by Fairfulkan. He can't control it as the Swedes get it once again. Back out of the blue line. It's fired in by Moline. Behind the net. There. Jousting for it as Vilya Lentinov. It goes to the far boards for Sportsov. Schluttov out at center ice for Fairfulkan. Fairfulkan just pokes it away. And we have less than a minute mercifully left in this hockey game as the puck is cleared over to the far side. There's Moline. He took a shot and he's wide of the net with it. Now it's Erickson. Erickson cutting in front of the net on the short side and it winds up in the netting with 39 seconds left in the game. Soviets nine, Sweden two. He looks a little bored, doesn't he? Well, at 9-2, but give Sweden credit, they're down 9 nothing at the end of two periods, and to come back, and really, there's no pressure on the Soviets to add to the total, but they came back, and they scored two goals. The Soviets didn't get any in the third, and that's all you can hope for in a hockey game like this. Saw Thomas Erickson, a 20-year-old defenseman who's been drafted by the Philadelphia Flyers. He went to the bench, number 27 for Sweden. At center ice, Johnson. Johnson over the line. Here's the shot, and it just wide. The rebound up on the short side, and hugging the post there was Mushkin. Now in against the boards with 22 seconds left, and the puck is held for a face-off to the left of the Soviet goal. Well, there's one of the American players. The celebration is on. They're waiting for the uh, for the uh, medal presentation, of course. That's Pavlich. Be lots of emotion in here in a few minutes. The presentation of the gold to the United States. Now Vasiliev moving in. Vasiliev getting set. He shoots. It's right on. No sort of a half-hearted shot. Two seconds left. This game is over as the puck is fed out over center rice. The final score, 9-2. to two. So the medal standings are complete now for the... Olympic ice hockey, the United States gold, the Soviet Union silver, 
And Sweden will get the bronze. Sweden throwing all their helmets up into the stands here, giving the fans their sticks, getting a big cheer from the United States fans that are in here, a standing ovation for the way they tried and worked here against the superior Soviet team this afternoon. They're all shaking hands. The captain, Mikhailov, going down the line, not too pleased. They played a great hockey game today, but they were a little too late. The great hockey game should have been against the United States. The United States winning the gold medal, Soviets winning the silver, the bronze medal going to Sweden. And who would have thought that at the beginning of the tournament? Well, the Soviets also throwing their sticks into the crowd. The Olympic tournament is done. The Soviets will get the silver. Tretjak on his way to the dressing room. They'll be returning in a few minutes for the Olympic presentation. Interestingly enough, for the scoring, when they get nine, usually somebody gets more than one goal, but it was not the case. Shluptov, Fedosov, Sportsov, Petrov, Makarov, Maltsev, Mihailov, Vasilyev, and Krutov got goals in the game. Four assists for Perbuk and Harlamov with two assists. Balderas with two assists. They were the only multi-point men in the game, so they spread it out. The final shots on goal, Sweden out shooting the Soviets in the final period, 13 to six, when it was all decided, the total shots on goal, Soviet Union 28 and Sweden 26. Well, there was no question about the result of the hockey game right from the beginning. The first two periods, Soviets had the puck all of the time, went ahead nine to nothing, and school was out when they went into the third period, and it was just a matter of playing the last 20 minutes of this Olympic tournament. All right, final score here then, the Soviets nine, Sweden two. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. The hockey competition all over at the Olympic Fieldhouse at Lake Placid earlier today. Team USA winning the gold medal with a 4-2 victory over Finland. And the game just witnessed the Soviet Union completely dominating Sweden, building up a 9-0 lead. And then Sweden getting two goals in the third period. The final score was 9-2. Mats Alberg scored the first goal for Sweden as he sends it high into the net past Soviet goaltender Mishkin. Mats Alberg, number 12, combining with Lundqvist and Holmgren. That made it 9-1. And great response from the Swedish boosters here at the field house. But Alberg. A pretty goal right in front, takes the pass from Lundqvist, Holmgren standing right in front of goaltender Mishkin, and uh, that gave the Swedish supporters something to cheer about after the Soviets had built up a 9-0 lead, and Allberg cutting the margin there 9-1. The second goal by Sweden was scored at 14-21 of that third period, and it was scored by uh, Holmgren with Naslund getting the assist. Naslund is number 15. Holmgren is number 18 for Sweden. And you see the play developing in the Soviet zone. Alberg does a good job there of tying up the Soviet player. Holmgren moves in front of the net and picks up the shot from Naslund. And that took care of the scoring at the field house. The second goal to get by Mishkin, who played the entire game for Sweden. And a look at the replay again. Naslund shot. Leif Holmgren, number 18, moves right in front. Starikov, number 12, tries to uh, knock him off stride, but failed to do that. So Alberg and Holmgren score in the third period for Team Sweden. And the final score, the Soviets win it 9-2. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network.